me, Jess here, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's May now, and it's my special month because it's my birthday month. So I selected some of my favorite design to share with you this month, and today it starts with a jumpsuit tutorial. If you don't know, I'm addicted to jumpsuit, and I already have a lot of jumpsuit tutorial on my channel. But I couldn't stop myself making a new one whenever I saw a new design for a jumpsuit. The design for this jumpsuit is quite less pen with grapple shoulder strap and side pockets. It's a very sweet jumpsuit for all of you girls, my lovely sweet girls. So I hope you like this tutorial. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I have been partnering with Skillshare since my first sponsor video until now and I'm really appreciated with all the helpful concepts they share. I'm a self-taught person so I prefer to learn by myself. That's why Skillshare is just perfect for me. Besides sewing, I really like interior design just simply because I love making the play become more livable. No matter if it's a small or big place, if it's your own play or you rent it, a night and welcoming play will make you feel better even on the worst day. So if you're interested in this field, you should check out the cards named Spell Your Space, Creative Tip and Techniques for Interior Design by Emily Henderson. She will give you a very basic tour about interior design and my most favorite part of this card is where she gives a quick to help you find your style. And if you want to learn more, you can use the link in my description to be the first 1,000 people who get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So back to our main hobby, let's start sewing! I use 3 meters of thick cotton fabric for this DIY. The first step is making the pattern for the jumpsuit. To make the front pattern of the pants, I draw a rectangle with 27cm width, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 4cm, and 95cm length, which is the length from my belly button to my ankle. At one end on the length line, I mark at 29cm inside, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 6cm. It's the dip of the crush of the pants, then drawing a straight line from that mark to cut the other length line. After that, I make another straight line at 7cm from the first one. Back to the first straight line, I mark at 3cm outside the lane line to create a cross line for the front pins. Pattern of the front pants is adding the seam allowance. I add 1 cm as most of the drawing lines, except the end of the pants is 3 cm. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get luck in creativity. If you're uncertain about what's next, Creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. At a time when so many important conversations are happening in our world, your voice is more essential than ever. Explore classes to unlock your creativity for so so good. Skillshare offers membership with meaning, connect with the support of fellow creatives, and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Whether you're looking to fan up boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep moving to the back pattern of the pants. I draw the same rectangle and make the same width of the dip. 
However, the end of the cross line will be at 9.2 cm outside the lane line, which is 1 per 10 my hip side. Rectangle with 17 cm width and 28 cm length to make the pocket pattern for the pants of the jumpsuit. At one length line, I mark at the middle foot. Then I draw a curved line to connect to one end of the other length line at the same side. The pattern of the main bodice of the jumpsuit is a rectangle with 20 cm width, which is the width between two breasts, and 22 cm length, which is the length from the breast to the belly button. Apply the pattern to the fabric and drawing. You will need 2 pieces of the front pen, 2 pieces of the back pen, 4 pieces of the pockets, and 2 pieces of the main bodice. After cutting, don't forget to overlocking to protect the fabric. Now I'm connecting 2 pieces of the front and 2 pieces of the back pen together at the cross lines.
the shoulder strap. I cut two long rectangles with a centimeter width and around 80 centimeter length, which is one and a half times the length of the rod fold that I want. I fold the rectangle in half on the length line foot, then at two ends of the rectangles, I draw a curved line later. So we can have the end of the rod fold after cutting. I fold the end of the curved line inside two times and sew to finish it. After sewing, I cut them into two pieces with 7cm length each. I cut another rectangle with 6cm width and 96cm length, which is my hip side blood 4cm. I connect two width lines together and sewing to create a circle fabric with 94cm, which is the same with the width at the waist of the pants, so I can connect them together later. Now, it's time to connect the top and the pants of the jumpsuit together. I connect the main bodice to the middle of the front pants first. Then I connect them on to the circle fabric later. So the top of the jumpsuit will be in the middle.
that I saw the other end of the bell loop to the pins, and also make two seams at two sides of the front waist, right under the main body to make it look nice for the front of the jumpsuit. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. The jumpsuit can be worn with a different top to create a different look. So I hope you will try it out. See you next week.